Peekaboo! I see you. They got rivets in the floor. That's, that's a luxury usually only reserved for the R46s. Will I get one of those? Hey, hey, so today I'm on a mission. Lily Shine likes sunflower seeds as a snack. Not these, she doesn't like these. She likes a specific kind of sunflower seeds that they only sell in Brighton Beach. So I gotta go to Brighton Beach. I could take the B train right behind me straight there, but what fun would that be, right? Let's take every train we can to get to Brighton Beach. What do you say? To get Lily Shine a bunch of sunflower seeds. We're gonna get her enough to last for a while. But these, they are trash. They're actually salted, so they're probably not good to give to pigeons, and I'm not big on feeding pigeons anyway. I like pigeons a lot, but first let's Omni Smack! <laughs> so as much as I like pigeons, I'm not trying to make them uh, propagate. Okay, so there's a peekaboo. I see you. So they're working on that stairwell. I gotta go to the other side though, and that means I have to cross over somehow to, oh, there we go. I'm not 100% sure I've ever actually been to this little hallway that crosses over. Actually, I think I have, I just don't remember it. Let's go see, what does that say? It's that thin little low ceiling hallway, but it's a, you know, it's a middle, middle platform crossover. Combined arms, whatever. The B train. Mm-hmm. Could take that straight to Brighton Beach, couldn't I? Our train will be here in one minute. Here it is. Wow, look at that. Less than a minute. I'm just going to take this one stop to Atlanta. Yep, or do's. One stop. I'm using the onboard camera for my new camera, and so far it picks up some pretty nasty background noise. One stop, Atlantic Avenue. Uh, and we'll go to, I'm gonna to transfer to the D here because I didn't want to take the R local. We're gonna be doing a lot of local, so D. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't feel like taking the R all the way down to where I would transfer to the N or the D, like 36th Street, because, you know, why not just try and go ahead and get it done? One minute, wow. Doing pretty good on the headways. Right on MTA. Headways aren't so terrible. Let's see, do I want to sit down? I'm only taking this to, I can change for the N at 36th Street. We'll see, we'll see how far it goes. But 36th Street is the next stop. Haha, <laughs> there's the R train I just left behind. <laughs> <laughs> go and express. Go, go, super toe speed. Ah, here we are, 36th Street. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. You know, nah. I'm kind of happy where I am. I could transfer here for the end, but I'm going to wait till 62nd Street. Yep, that's the plan. I'll wait till 62nd. Also, I don't know how well this microphone's picking up. I'm using the onboard mic, so I guess we'll we'll see in editing. It's really hit and miss, this onboard mic. Like, I don't know how to consistently, I guess if there's a lot of background noise, it's just uh, not so great. Hey, hey, tracks over there. Good old D-Train passing on the outer edges, and there's a little roadhouse or something, <laughs> who knows. They're, they're obviously little uh, utility stations of some sort. Windowless, the windowless constructions. Somebody really didn't want people to get to this track. That was some nasty razor wire over there on the other side. Ninth Ave. It's not that many. Not that many stops to um, 60 seconds slash new Utrecht. Hey there, there goes the D on the going the back towards Manhattan. Let's see, this is the new MTA beta app. And I mean, it's, I haven't really figured, I haven't really spent a lot of time with it. 
it doesn't seem like the kind of app that I would really care to. I like how the the above ground map is integrated, sort of, but it doesn't seem like the kind of app that I would use necessarily because I kind of already know where I'm going. Seems like it'd be good for tourists though. It tells you what stations are close by, what bus stops are close by, when it'll be there. So it's a lot of good information about where you are. But I like the My MTA app. I'm sure this one has it too, but the My MTA app so I can check any station I want when it'll be there. 2588 is the car number we're in. Fort Hamilton Parkway. Another local stop. See, I told you we'd be going local enough to not have to take the R local. Because we got to go all the way to Coney Island and then two more stops, three more stops to Brighton Beach. I'm just going to have a seat here and stare out the window. 50th. Uh, 55th. I think 60 seconds next, isn't it? seven more blocks or numbers anyway whoa there's is that where the Interborough Express track is going to be I know that's a uh, an important utility track the train track there but I just and it passes it passes sort of the path at IBX all right time to transfer to the new Utrecht new Utrecht right new new Utrecht the end train. We're going to the end train. We'll take the rest of the way to Coney Island. And let's take the fancy elevator at the end. Honk honk to you too. Bye. Thanks for the ride. I should start thanking my train operator too, but I'd have to ride in the front every time. Mezzanine. And uh, fast forward to here. Well, that was a short elevator ride. Gotta love the ADA accessible. That elevator did not smell awful. That's right, it didn't smell awful. It smelled like it should. Nothing. It smelled like nothing. Interesting light fixtures here. Okay, here we are. Train floors and station platforms may be slippery today. Be careful as you get on and off the car or as you take the seat. Well, that is a new announcement. Interesting. Hello, everyone. Hello. Beginning Friday and August 28 until 2024, oh there will be major service changes on the E, F, M, and R line between Manhattan and Queens because of track replacement. For further details and travel information, visit mta.info or the My MTA app. Yeah, you guys should definitely see what uh, that change is all about because it's kind of crazy. The M is just like suspended for a while and then it's going to the f is making the stop it's really nice and quiet here at the new utrecht avenue station very nice shirts available in the teespring store hat and they ran out of the dad hat and haven't ever gotten it back and i'm very upset about that don't buy the snapback i need to take it out it's not that good quality yeah see my voice sounded great there because there was no background noise to interfere with it there's the end train. Yes. Yes. Very cool. Thank you. Very clean train. All right, then, Mr. R68. Car number 2838 on an R68. Lots of eights there. There's my beautiful roll sign there. Very clean. Did they just... Did they, like replace a bunch of parts on some of these? I hope so. That'd be great. Because these 68s are going to be in service for... Yeah, I know. A while. They still got to get rid of the 46s. Twenty Ave. I tell you, I really like the field of view. I prefer the field of view of this camera. The motion stabilization is a little bit juddery sometimes, especially in low light. I'm going to have to see if there's a setting I can use to fix that. King's Highway.
But all in all, in raw daylight, the motion stabilization in this is really good. And I like the field of view being wider, so I can see more. Slightly distorted, but it's okay. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments versus the uh, the little handheld, the uh, Osmo Pocket Camera. Let me know what you think of the Pocket ver Pocket Camera versus the uh, Action Three. I'm gonna sit here at my little window seat. Boop. See a little juddery. You see what I mean? The, the digital stabilization's making it a little bit juddery in low light. But now it's not juddery, so I don't know. Maybe it's something else. You guys can't see it, but we're passing a R211 in the shop there. Maybe we'll see another one. Oh, whoop, hey, there it is. Uh, not in service. Oh, wait, is that? Ooh, it's a R211T. It's the uh, open gangway, what it looks like. Nice. Stop the train. I'd like to get off, please. Man, never fails, never ceases to amaze me how massive the Coney Island yard is. Look at that. There's even another side. That's where the B and D trains go to sleep. Alright, well, looks like we're about to pull in. Look at us go! Look how fast we're going! We're going so fast! It's so... we're creeping along. So slow. So slow! Alright, oh, there we go. There's the reason. The outbound end train needed to get out the way. At least I hope that was the reason. Yep, that was the reason. Look at us go now. We're going twice as fast as we were before. <laughs> like... Super speed! There we go. Let's tappity tap on in. That's right. I'm bringing tappity tap back. Maybe not. I don't know. Coney Island. Still not quite there. Okay. Now it's time to fill in some blanks with the F train and the Q train. Yep. We're going to take the F1 stop and then we'll take the Q a couple of stops. Hmm. Wonder when this is gonna leave. Let's go to this car because there was one person in that car. And this car has no one in it. At least for now, it does not. Next stop, West 8th Street, New York Aquarium. Transfer to the queue. All right, just waiting for this F train to leave. Nobody's in here yet. We'll see. Yep, just gotta wait and see. Uh oh, I heard the bell ring. Oh, standing clear of the closing doors. Oh, there's nobody in here. Oh no, they did. Oh yeah, I think they did. And here we go. Moonwalk in sneakers because of the uh, traction. Need smooth bottom shoes to moonwalk. Not that I can anyway, but I'm practicing. We'll see. Cool, cool. One stop. New York Aquarium. Let's see if my luck holds. And by that, I mean R46 not having luck. I guess we'll get a bird's eye view of everything. Here comes the Q train. I'm going to do the I'm gonna do the uh, the no look. See if I'm disappointed. Let's see. You guys will see what it is before I do. What is it? What is it? It's creeping up slow. I can feel it. Oh look at that! It's a 60. It's a 68A over there. Will I get one of those? Oh 
doorway that's really creeping up there. Also, does it have a plastic cover on it? Anyway, all right, so what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? It's, it is what it is, is what it is. It'll get me to where I need to go. I can't complain too much. They still work, they still do their job. That's what might have been, but this is what is. And that's trash. Let's zoom out, oh, I can't quite see. Wow, it's very blurry, dirty window and uh, blurred out. Meh, whatever. Ding dong, okay, next up, Brighton Beach. Little Russia. Here we go. But what about the bee, you might ask? I'm gonna take that on the way back. Let's accomplish the mission first. That's right, gonna complete the all the trains that go to Brighton Beach area. Here we are, so let's see what's up, or rather let's see what's down here. In Little Russia, Brighton Beach, uh, Duncan Dee Dee, oh what, look at that. You know you're in Little Russia when you see a bear. There's, there's the supermarket I need to go into. That's where they sell the sunflower seeds that Lily Shine likes. Let's see, where are they? There they are. And there's the ones with the picture of the babushka. Babushka seeds. Very cool, not salted. You know what, I, I'm not gonna film the checkout, just go to white. All right, mission accomplished. She doesn't like David, she doesn't like American. She only likes the ones with the babushka on it that make it, that remind her of, uh, I don't know, her childhood in Russia. So, mission accomplished. I'm about to take the B train home to complete the journey, and uh, you can sign off here if you want, or just join me on the way. Join me on the B train. Babushka's joining me on the way home, all the way back to downtown Brooklyn. Let's go, babushka. Bye-bye. I bought five of them because the expiration date is in December. Smack! <laughs> so she should, five of them should last her until December. Let's see, the next B train's to the right there. So let's go up. And here we are. It's always tricky at Brighton Beach trying to figure out where the next B train is. And that's, you gotta go get, see that sign every time. One time I was on a crowded B train and then there was another one on the other side that wasn't crowded and that one left first because reasons. 5042 R68 A B train. Somebody scraped off the uh, little sticker there, the UPC. Here's my little R68 A seat with the window. There's only one guy in here, but I'm not going to do. I've already done an empty train dance, and this train is not empty. Let's see. Here's my My MTA app. This one leaves in six minutes. Oh, the focus is a little weird on this. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize we were in the first car. Let's go to the front and see. This one all goes all the way to 145th Street, Harlem. Ding dong! Express we go. Let's come over here. Oh, 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 we're racing a Q train. Is this the same Q train? No, that no, that other Q train left a long time ago. This one is fresh out of Coney Island and it's beating us. This R46 Q train is beating the R68A. All right, well, that's that's whatever it is. Okay, I'm in the uh, fine. You know, we're both stopping at the same place. Yep, let's change to the next car, the second in line. And maybe we'll have better luck racing the Q train from back here. Nope, it's leaving already. 
that's okay. There it goes, passing, passing, passing until, until it doesn't anymore, like right here. That's right, you stop, we go. We win the race because we're on the express track. Tappity tap, Avenue U. More I like Avenue, see you. Not stopping and didn't stick it. Stop at Neck Road or at King's Highway. But on the BQ, not the F. Next car. Wait a minute. There are eight cars and we have exactly eight stops, right? Counting the first, counting the uh, Brighton Beach. Interesting. Zooming on to not Avenue M, not Avenue J, not Avenue H. That's right, this is my old hood, remember? I know all of them. Newkirk Plaza. Newkirk Plaza, Plaza. Yep, back when we lived in this hood, it was called Newkirk Avenue, not Newkirk Plaza. There we go. Car number three. Hmm, nice shoes, bud. A little bit jealous of those shoes, actually. Hey. Ah, they got rivets in the floor. That's, that's a luxury usually only reserved for the R46s. Zooming on. Look at that, another Q train. Was this a 68? Regular 68, I think. Well, they're doing something here at Church Avenue. Are they, um, I guess they're putting in, hopefully they're putting in elevators? That'd be cool. Looks more like escalators, but I could be wrong. Prospect Park is next. But the queue there has to stop at Park... Avenue, Park Side, I forget, Park Place. There's Park Avenue, Park Side, Park Place. I think it's Park Side. Anyway, the queue stops there. B doesn't, so we're gonna make it to Prospect Park first. Let's check out here. Yeah, they're doing some sort of, looks like some sort of ADA accessibility, hopefully. I always thought, like if, it would be so much easier. You wouldn't have to put in so many elevators if everything, if everything had a center platform. I know it's not completely possible. Oh, it's just it's a 68A. Okay. But, uh... You save a lot of money. I tell you, New York... Just... I'm glad they're bringing so many things up to ADA compliance. It just wasn't built for that, though. Like, from the beginning. Everything has steps and hills and, like, whatever. But it's really cool they're doing their best to make the uh, the subway more accessible. I am very much in favor of that. Okay, well that was Prospect Park, next to 7th Avenue, then Atlantic, and then back to Decal for a full circle. 7th Ave. And change the cars. We made it. I try to get to the last door on each car when I enter. I think the time before that, I couldn't get to the last door, so I had to like book it. Had to get out of this next to the last door and run. Because when the announcer closes the doors, like when they when it's manual announcements, they don't play around. They're like, is it get out of here? And have a seat. Cool, cool. That was that. Let's go out the last door just to make everything 100% even. All right, we made it. All the B train cars for no particular reason. And we're back at DeKalb Avenue. Which is, here's another new, fa oh yes, that's right. Everything costs $2.90 now instead of $2.75. Ah, 
I mean, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. I hope they, you know, are able to improve. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it. Hope you enjoyed a little journey to Brighton Beach. We got our babushka seeds. I know I've been slacking with the uploads recently. Hoping to change that. Can't make any guarantees, but I'm working on it. Until then, remember, leave your car at home. Take the train. And don't forget to subscribe, please. I need that subscriber count to go up and, you know, to increase the reach.